Have you ever heard about the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, also known as Galloping Gertie? Oh, she was quite the show pony, strutting her stuff across the Puget Sound south of Seattle. She debuted in the year 1940 and was the third longest suspension bridge in the world. Not just long, mind you, but also as slender as a supermodel on a celery diet. Now, you might be thinking, that doesn't sound too safe. Well, you wouldn't be alone. There were critics who thought she was a little too skinny, too. But Leon Moisef, the consulting engineer on the project and a self-proclaimed expert on suspension bridges, insisted that our Gertie was as sturdy as they come. However, barely three months after making her grand entrance, Gertie decided it was time for her dramatic exit. She collapsed, and not in a fainting couch, damsel in distress kind of way. No, she went down in a 42 miles per hour wind. Now here's where it gets interesting. You see, many people believe that Gertie collapsed because of harmonic oscillation. That's when the natural frequency of a structure matches the frequency of an external force, like wind. But that's not quite right. Gertie didn't just start swinging back and forth like a pendulum. Oh no, she was far more dramatic than that. Gertie experienced what's known as aeroelastic flutter. It's like when you're at a rock concert and you're head banging so hard that your neck starts to hurt. Only in this case, the rock concert was a 40 miles per hour wind and the head banger was a bridge. The wind caused Gertie to twist and bend in an alternating motion. This gradually increased in amplitude until well, she just couldn't take it anymore and broke apart. So, to sum it up, Tacoma Narrows Bridge, also known as our dear Galloping Gertie, was a suspension bridge that was more flexible than a contortionist at a circus. Her architect, Leon Moisef, said she was safe, but she proved him wrong by performing a dramatic interpretive dance in the wind before taking her final bow. And there you have it, folks, the true tale of Galloping Gertie. A story of ambition, miscalculations, and a bridge that really knew how to make an exit. It's a cautionary tale for all budding engineers. Always account for the wind or your bridge might just decide to do a tango in a gale.